Today, the divisions wheel is building my team. Here's how this is gonna work. For each position group, we can only fill them with players from that respective division. For example, if I land on NFC North for my offensive line, every single one of my offensive line players must come from the NFC North. Additionally, once we land on a division, it's excluded from the wheel. So each piece of this team is gonna be comprised of only one division, but the wheel will decide which one. Let's hop in. Why don't we start out with receivers and I'm gonna include tight end in this group. So whatever division we land on here will be my three wide receivers and my one tight end. Honestly, I don't know what division has the best receivers, but I know each and every division will have some studs. Is it really gonna be the NFC South? <laughs> it was almost the NFC East. Ooh, there are some stud wide receivers in the NFC East. But what's the NFC South got? Now, the NFC South is the Falcons, the Saints, the Buccaneers, and the Panthers. Now, I definitely want to get one player from each team. I think that'd be the best way to do this. But I'm running into a problem right now. So I'm thinking of the Carolina Panthers, right? Who do the Carolina Panthers have? Well, the first name that pops in my head is DJ Moore. Except DJ Moore is a Chicago Bear now. I feel like I should only be able to get DJ Moore if this was NFC North. So I can't do this. So honestly, got a little shafted here by the Panthers, but there is one player that I can think of, and that's Steve Smith. This will probably be our wide receiver three, maybe our slot wide receiver, but I know we're going to have some studs on those other teams. So Carolina Panthers locked in. Hey, Panthers fans, you can't be mad at me. You can be mad at EA. That's it though. My wide receiver from Tampa Bay is such an easy choice. We're going with 95 overall zero chill Mike Evans. This is crazy expensive for him, but listen, I've been called MM cheap enough times to just buy the player. I'm just over it, guys. All right. I heard the fucking jokes. All right. I'll buy the players. Now, honestly, out of all the teams, the Saints have so much depth at both of these positions. But there is an obvious standout that we're going to have to take here. Taysom Hill went ahead and got a 98 overall veterans tight end guard who's six foot two with 97 speed. One of the shortest tight ends in the game. 98 overall Taysom Hill. Thank you to the Saints for clutching up. Now also the Falcons have amazing depth. I actually could have gone with Kyle Pitts unicorn as my tight end, but that Taysom Hill in my opinion might actually be better. Roddy White looks like a demon. This is a card I've never used and one I'm excited to use. 97 overall Roddy White will be our Falcons player. So that's our three wide receivers in our tight end locked into the squad. Let's get it, boys. All right, the NFC South is out of the picture. Our next position group is the offensive line, which might come from the North or the East. It's my personal favorite, the NFC North. That's the Chicago Bears, the Detroit Lions, the Green Bay Packers, and the Minnesota Vikings. At left tackle, we're going to take one of the best, man. He has been incredible for so long. David Bakhtiari for the Green Bay Packers, 96 overall. The Chicago Bears really don't have a lot of good options. There's a 94 Riley Reed, the GOAT. For the Chicago Bears, we'll take Tevin Jenkins, right guard. Not a lot of options for the Chicago Bears, unfortunately. Dude, and a huge bummer on the Minnesota Vikings as well. There is a 97 overall Ezra Cleveland for the Vikings, but he's not on the auction house. The next best option for the Vikings, which is crazy, is Randall McDaniel, 91 overall legend left guard, who also isn't on the auction house. Are you shitting me? Fuck this game. I hate EA. Can't even properly build a team over here. All right, well, for now, we'll pick up 89 left guard Randall McDaniel. So this is literally the best I can do right now. And hopefully during this team building process, someone will post Ezra Cleveland. That'd be awesome. And this is why I saved right tackle. What am I? My favorite players in the league. You're shitting me. You don't. What is going on with the auction house? Why is nobody on the auction house right now? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, fuck. No way. Someone bought that that fast. How? I... I'm going to beat the system here, gentlemen. If there is no Panay Sewell available, I'm going to go ahead and make one. Here's the set for the 93 overall team builders. I believe this is the promo. 93 overall right tackle, Panay Sewell. Beautiful. So we still need a center and a left guard. While we wait for Ezra to post, I'm going to go fill in our offensive line and our wide receivers and tight ends right now, just so we can see what the team looks like. Dude, low key, this team is so dope. The only thing we're waiting on is 97 Ezra Cleveland left guard. But here's what we got. So we got Bakhtiari at left tackle. I have Jonah Jackson in since he's 
the Detroit Lion. None of these teams had a good center. The Lions had a 98 overall center, but he was not on the auction house either. So hopefully we can find him. But Hilgenberg for now, Tevin Jenkins at right guard, and Panay Sewell at right tackle. At tight end, we have 98 overall Taysom Hill. Got Roddy White at wide receiver, Steve Smith, and then Mike Evans. Offense is almost complete, but we still need a backfield. So we deactivated the NFC North. Six divisions remain, and next up is our backfield. So this is our quarterback, halfback, and fullback. Those three will come from. Is it going to be NFC East? Oh, yes, it will. It's going to bounce back to NFC East, I think. Yes, sir. All right. So the NFC East is the Eagles, the Cowboys, the Commanders, and the Giants. Let's go with team of the year quarterback Jalen Hurts. I don't even want to think about this. I also have never used this card. I have never gotten my hands on team of the year Jalen Hurts. His stats are fucking insane. The only problem is I'm going to have to shaft one NFC East team because the backfield only has three positions in it. So which team's not going to get a player? I don't know. Although I'm going to be honest with you, gentlemen, I think I've already decided on my halfback. Saquon Barkley was given a card called Say Quad. It's a 98 overall halfback with absolutely insane stats and he gets an insane, insane ability as well where he starts with his X Factor on. This card's fucking broken. I have to. So now it's up to the commies and the cowboys to give me a fullback. I don't even know if either of them have a fullback. Oh my god. The Dallas Cowboys do not have a single halfback. Like none in the game. However, the commies actually have a fullback. Alex Arma Jr. Utility fullback for the commanders, a 93 overall. So our team that gets shafted is the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys fans, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll see if I can make it up to you guys. Maybe there's a position where I can make it up, but I I think you just got shafted. Maybe the kicker? Although you don't really want Brett Maher, huh? I don't want to shake PATs. <sighs> All right, gentlemen, the offense is built, and the offense is a 95 overall. But my backfield is insane. Jalen Hurts, Saquon Barkley, that's nuts. Now on defense, the first position group we'll start with is the secondary. So that's all my corners and safeties. All right, gentlemen, our entire secondary will come from this next division. I thought it was going to be AFC East, but it might be the AFC North. First AFC division, the AFC North is the Baltimore Ravens, the Cleveland Cleveland Browns, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, if there is one legend player I'm going to add, it's going to be a player I actually already use who happens to be a Pittsburgh Steeler, and that's Mel Blunt. Mel Blunt has always been one of my favorite Madden cards because he's a super physical corner. Getting the AFC North here is pretty clutch. So we still have two corners and two safeties to worry about. For a Ravens player, 98 overall team of the year, Marlon Humphrey, insane, insane corner with 99 man coverage. I don't run a lot of man, but that is one hell of a DB right there. Now the Cincinnati Bengals kind of got clapped here. So same problem I had with DJ Moore. I do have a really good safety option for the Bengals, which would have been Jesse Bates, but Jesse Bates is no longer Bengal. So the best secondary option for the Cincinnati Bengals is the 96 overall Chidobi Awuji, who actually is a really solid corner, but he's definitely not a starter for me. At 210K though, since I already have Mel Blunt and Marlon Humphrey, Chidobi Awuji could be my third corner. As I say that though, I just realized that Cleveland Browns don't have shit. Cleveland Browns only have corners, no safeties. So we're going to take Denzel Ward, the warden, 97 overall corner, but this is going to get really weird. Who's going to go at safeties, right? All right, gentlemen, we have a weird predicament here. Kyle Hamilton is not on the auction house. I think I might go get Minka Fitzpatrick for free safety. How weird is it going to be if Marlon Humphrey is my strong safety? Is that super weird? All right, we're getting a little weird here today, boys, because there's so many corners in the AFC North, but so few safeties that I can use right now. There's a lot of safeties. They just aren't on the auction house, which is kind of pissing me off. Dude, say whatever you want, but I think this is actually going to be cracked as fuck with Marlon Humphrey up there. I think that Marlon Humphrey is going to be insane. Mink at free, Marlon at strong, the warden at CB2, Mel Blunt at CB1, and Shinobi Awuja at CB3. I'm sorry, Bengals. I, I don't know what to tell you. All right, Jesse Bates left just like your 
your father did. And just like I left your mother, there's nothing you can do about it. That leaves the D-line and middle linebackers. I think for this one, I'm gonna go middle linebackers. Well, not just middle linebackers, but all linebackers. This is gonna torque its way back to the NFC West. The NFC West is comprised of the San Francisco 49ers, the Los Angeles Rams, the Arizona Cardinals, and the Seattle Seahawks. Now, the 49ers are loaded with talent across the board, so there's so many good players you could get here, but the obvious one is Gold 99 Fred Warner, literally the best middle linebacker in the game. Now, that leaves you the right outside linebacker, left outside linebacker, and MLB 2, because they honestly just, they do not have a lot of depth at this position. Although there is one player I definitely want to go with. I don't know if you guys saw my Wheel of Speed video yet, but in my Wheel of Speed video, I had to get a middle linebacker with like 72 speed and cody barton has a gold with 72 speed a dog shit card but it turns out cody barton also has an upgraded weekly wild card 93 overall so this will be our mlb2 honestly a very serviceable card uh but the seahawks don't have much so we're gonna shaft them The Rams have Bobby Wagner, but I have two middle linebackers already. The best I can do for the Rams is get Kevin Green, legendary left outside linebacker. Yup, there he is. 96 Kevin Green right here. We'll take what we can get. The Arizona Cardinals do have that Isaiah Simmons that I'm so crazy about. Arizona Cardinals, literally the best linebacker, middle, right, or left outside is Isaiah Simmons, and I'm worried he's not even on the auction house. No way. Oh my God. They don't have the Harvest Isaiah Simmons. Until we can find an Isaiah Simmons, our fill-in is Kamu Grugier Hill. All right, the next is our D-line. The NFC West takes our linebackers. We have three AFCs left, and it's not the AFC South. It's the AFC West. And the AFC West should have some monsters. The AFC West is comprised of the Broncos, the Chargers, the Chiefs, and the Raiders. We'll start with our Kansas City Chiefs player. 97 overall Super Bowl Frank Clark. An insanely good card. Now the worst team for D-line out of the AFC West is definitely the Chargers. Chargers have a lot of offensive talent. It would have been really nice to get AFC West on offense. Unfortunately, we don't. They have Austin Johnson D-tackle who is not on the auction house. What a theme today. That is really unfortunate. So instead, I'm going to see if Morgan Fox is on the auction house. And there is one Morgan Fox available. He's a 94 overall left end. It's the best I can do. Luckily, the Denver Broncos have an amazing D tackle. 96 overall DJ Jones with awesome block shed and power moves. He's a big boy. All right, Mad Max Crosby, 98 overall left end. So I guess we're moving the Chargers left end Morgan Fox to D tackle two. Probably a position I won't really use at all anyway. So it doesn't matter. But that leaves us with two lonely divisions, the AFC East and the AFC South. So what are we going to get for the AFC East and the AFC South? Now, the AFC East is the Bills, the Jets, the Dolphins, and the Patriots. Now, for the AFC East, here's what we're going to do. So my offensive line has two Chicago Bears on it. I'm going to sub in 95 Nick Mangold, a Jets legend, a legendary center, an absolute savage. Hey, all right. This is about 100K more expensive than the last one, but I'm not MM cheap. I'm MM loaded. So you can MM Ligma. <laughs> AFC South, I am going to give you, drum roll please, I am going to give you a kicker. <laughs> Riley Patterson from the Jaguars is your kicker. Don't say I didn't ever do anything for you, AFC South fans. In fact, I like you guys so much, I'll make them the punter too. Gentlemen, our team is complete and we're a 95 overall. So let's review. My offensive line is the NFC North. Now, I did feel bad since I never got the AFC East, so I threw in Nick Mangold, a New York Jet, as our center. But we've got Packers, Vikings, Bears, and Lions on the offensive line. My wide receivers and tight ends come from the NFC South, which is Mike Evans, Steve Smith, Roddy White, and Taysom Hill. And I guess my backup tight ends could be the AFC East and the AFC South, since I have a Patriot and a Jaguar here. So once again, don't say I didn't ever do anything for you. Our backfield is the NFC East, with Saquon Barkley, Saquads as our starting halfback, Jalen Hurts, our starting quarterback, and Alex Arma Jr., our fullback. On defense, the NFC West represents our linebackers, with Gold 99 Fred Warner, Cody Barton, Kevin Green, and Kamu Grugier-Hill. Our secondary is nasty, although a 
little unorthodox. Coming from the AFC North is Marlon Humphrey at strong safety. Minka Fitzpatrick at free safety. Mel Blunt at corner one. The Warden at corner two. And Chidobia Wujie at corner three. And my D-line comes from the AFC West with Frank Clark at right end. Mad Max Crosby at left end. DJ Jones as my D-tackle. And Morgan Fox as my backup D-tackle. Special teams is anchored by the Jaguars. Great job, AFC South. And this is a 95 overall squad. Let me throw some abilities on these players and we'll be ready to hop in. All right, gentlemen, here's what we settled on. My abilities on offense, Saquads has first one free, his signature ability, recuperation and tank. Jalen Hurts has pass lead elite, gunslinger and hot route master. Taysom Hill with deep out elite. Mike Evans with deep out elite. Ezra Cleveland with all day and identifier. And Janu Smith with matchup nightmare and deep out elite. Now defensive and I honestly think defense is a lot stronger. We've got Fred Warner with Film Study Lurker and Enforcer. Minka with Pick Artist Acrobat. Marlon Humphrey with Stonewall Pick Artist Acrobat. Mel Blunt with Deep Out Zone KO. Frank Clark with Double or Nothing and Edge Threat. And Mad Max Crosby with El Toro Edge Threat and Under Pressure. Nasty squad, boys. And I've even got Zen Kicker for the Jaguars. I got you, AFC South. I didn't forget about you. All right, boys, that was one hell of a team build. It'll all be for nothing if I can't can't get in a good game here. 95 offense, 95 defense, an amazing team, very well-rounded. I'm confident we'll get in a good game here. There also happens to be a house rules. It's college OT, and if you score a rushing touchdown from more than 10 yards out, you get additional points. So we'll try and go for it. Probably end up being a Jalen Hurts scramble, but we can get some reps against a bunch of different people here. This will be fun. What are those uniforms? All right, Fred Warner. Let's blow this up if he hands it off. Flirting with the idea for sure. Nope. So it is a pass. He does have a corner route. He doesn't throw it. Hits DJ more over the middle, and I miss the interception. Maybe a run play? First and 10, it'd be right side if it is. I guess it could be a counter. Oh, it is a pass. Oh, I got him! Yup! Read him like a book. I'm gonna go for the pitch over to the slowest fucking guy on my team. Gotta go with another pitch. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I almost could have gotten in trouble doing that. All right, first and 10. I'm not going to kick a field goal. I'm going to try and score this. You know, technically I could win off of that. I want to use Roddy White. We think Roddy White can just take his guy. Fuck it. That's not open at all. Hey, listen, I said fuck it, right? As long as he doesn't return it, we're all right. Yep, now we just go into another round of college LT. I start on offense this time. I'm going to do that same thing, but I'm not going to throw a stupid pass. I'm actually going to throw to Taysom Hill, who I think will be open. Oh, wait, what? Shit, Taysom Hill was open. Second and 10. What's he going for here? Taste him. Oh no. How did I get? How's he getting pressure on me so fast? Damn it. That was open. They're getting to me quick. Granted, I don't have edge protector on any of my linemen. See if this is zone or man. Probably man. Oh, it's zone. It's zone. Got Mike Evans. Let's go. Nice play. First and 10. I'm going to try and scramble this in with Jalen Hurts. Because I get extra points if I can scramble this in from 10 plus out. I'm going to shift my line to the right. There's a... Oh, is that offsides? Perfect. This is a cheesy-ass blitz he's running, but he's offsides. See if he runs it again. I might have Mike Evans if he does. Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't. Shit. Damn, that blitz is cheesy. Let's see if Jalen Hurts can make a little tackle here. Julius Peppers is fast, man. Damn it. Good defense. If he comes out and kicks a field goal, he wins it. Be kind of disrespectful, though, because I could have done it. Okay. Okay. He does. He wants to win like a champion as well. I respect it. I mean, a kind of goofy man coverage here, but we'll try it out. See what he goes for. He's switching it up. He's going to hand this off. Flash is going to go for a little bit, and that's it. Did he pass? What did he do with this last time? He's going play action. He throws it low. He gets lit up. Oh, but he hangs out to the ball. Play action boot. Nice play. Let's see. If I can turn him over, we'll go into third OT. Another run play potentially maybe a stretch stretch alert bubble lots of audibles here oh play action does he have anything he gets oh no no way what a play hey ggs ggs that was a solid play stayed in bounds got the flattened down field can't be too mad oh jesus what happened to this field look at this shit it's blinding me <laughs> he throws one I think he literally stopped because he thought that was intercepted. Denzel Ward just choked that so bad. Ugh. Going for two. If it's a run, I think I can blow it up. It's a pass. Oh, we can blow it up anyway. Wait, take this back, Chidobi. Chidobi Awujie. If he can house this. Yo, Bengals coming in clutch. Dude, and we were saying it was a bummer for Cincinnati. But Chidobi Awujie making a big play. Hey, li listen. All I got to do is put it in the end zone now and it's game over. That was a big play. Right, I'm going to be super methodical with this drive. I'm not going to just go from one big Hail Mary right down to the end. I'm going to go inside zone to Saquads, who's literally fucking super cracked. Boom. Seven yards. I'm going to go no huddle because I hope he sits in that defense. 
defense. Come on, stick and cover four. He's got the Fred Warner as well, but he doesn't have any abilities on him. I can just keep running right at him. Yup. Oh, Saquaz doesn't break that one. Hello? We're gonna go for it again, baby. I'm staying with the run, man. I got a nasty O-line, especially the left side. Good downfield blocks. Get inside that, Saquaz. Second and five. Wow. Now I'm just a cheesy piece of shit, Joe. Just running it over and over. Let's pass this football. Ooh. Okay, I can hit him. I can hit him. What a ball. <laughs> what a catch. Roddy White. And that's all she wrote. Big shout out to Chidobi Awujie. So who is all impactful there? Roddy White, Jalen Hurts, Saquads, Chidobi Awujie. Fire. Ooh, he's got some crispy unis on. He's got Bo Jackson, Super Bowl Mahomes. This is a squad right here that we're playing against. He throws into Gronk, who lights me up. Second and inches. Gonna send a blitz and try and... Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I think he's passing still. Oh, no, he's gonna... Ooh. Little RPO. I think he got a little unlucky. I feel like that should have been open. He's going gun deuce close, so something very similar. Let's see if he does hand this one off. No, it's another pass. I don't think he has anything open. Ugh. Oh, damn it. Nice play by him. Drills the PAT. He starts with a score, but this is college overtime. I get my own opportunity. If we can put it in and get a PAT, we'll send it to second overtime. I definitely want another crack on defense, though. I'm not going to go for two if I score here. All right, let's just get this ball in the end zone. I'll start with a handoff to Saquads. Oh, and he is, uh, he is very aware that that's what I wanted to do. Wow. Second and 15. Let's see if Roddy... Oh, Roddy! Oh, no, no, no. That's a bad ball. That was not a good ball, man. Roddy White torched him on the route. He just did not get open. Yikes. All right. Third and 15, gentlemen. See if we can get Taysom with one. What a ball! <laughs> they called that poor accuracy, but it actually worked in my favor. Damn. All right. That was huge. We needed that right there. All right. Mike Blitz. I'm oh, actually going to go the inside zone here. Oh, oh. Say quads. Oh, I don't get extra points for that. I was on the 10. I must have been like just barely over the 10 or something because that's 10 yards out. I'm supposed to get extra points for that. All right, well, we tie it up. We go into the second overtime. First and 10 here. We know he's coming out in Mike Blitz. We just got to beat it. That's all it's about, baby. I'm going to put Taysom Hill on a whip route. See if it's open. It is not. Holy shit. It's bottled. I'm going to try the run. Oh, look at that. Give me a block, Mike Evans. Let's go. And that's a huge run. That's got to be bonus points. How many did I get there? 10 points on that run. Let's Let's go! Mike Evans with fucking monster downfield blocks. You know, he's known for that. So this is perfect. I'm gonna run the exact same play. Yup. Look at this. Too easy. 19. I can't lose here. I mean, technically I can. He would have to run the ball in from 10 out for me to lose. That's the only way I lose here. So I don't even care. Just let him go ahead and pass the ball. They throw a touchdown. Doesn't fucking matter. Game over. I don't think he realizes what I just did. No, he doesn't. Let's go. The meta. The meta strat right there, gentlemen. Ooh, he doesn't even get the two. Oh, he did get the two point. Doesn't matter. Got the dub. Let's go, baby. Dude, this is such a fun team. I'll go one more game and we'll end it off there. Let's get it, boys. Oh, no way. Yo, I get a rematch against this guy. I turned him over the one time and then I couldn't score. Ooh, this will be awesome. I get a rematch. All right, little rematch here against the guy I lost to earlier. See if we can get a different result this time around. He's going to throw a short one to the side. Tries to hurdle me. All right, he ran play action out of this last time. Let's see if he actually runs the ball. Whew. Rifles one in to George Kittle. Nice pass. Ooh, that might be a run play though. If that's a run, I gotta bring, I gotta bring Minka. Is it a run play? I'm ready. I'm ready with Minka. Pass Minka! Let's go! This one's personal, gentlemen. I'm bringing the field goal unit out. I'm taking the dub. Last time I turned him over and I didn't take my field goal. I risked it. And this time, I'm not gonna make that same mistake twice. A W. You're allowed to kick field goals in this? You won. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. I was worried it might not let you kick field goals. Hey, what a fucking play with Minka. Every single division showed up today. That was awesome. All right, boys. Hey, I love you. Thanks for watching as always. Uh, this was an awesome video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.